Hi, this is a um, video tutorial on how to play Killers by um, Kings of Convenience uh, of the Peace or Love album. I did a cover of this song, um, which I'll link to here, but this is just a short tutorial. Hopefully it'll make sense to you. I'll sing a little bit so you can see that there are three different and distinct parts to the song. This is the introduction and the first verse, or part of the first verse. <laughs> that goes like this, which I'll come to later. And that's also used towards the end, where it goes is So that's the song. There are three different parts, as you can tell. Um, the first part, which is this part. The way to think about the right hand is to practice by just playing an E minor chord. But you do this. Make sure you have the right hand. Text, what you do is you put your pinky on the seventh fret of this first string and your uh, I guess your forefinger on the fourth fret of the fourth string so it's like this I'll move my fingers out of the way or, and then the rhythm that we did Okay, of course you heard that there's a movement, so it goes chord so bar fifth fret uh, fifth fifth fret for the, these four strings and then you put uh, middle finger third string sixth fret and then ring finger seventh fret of the second string okay so It's like this. Okay, so a 
again the whole thing. Okay, then the next chord is, I hope you can see this, E minor 9, so... That chord is okay. Again, the same rhythm as before. And then the last chord, you just have to lift up this finger and put this finger as a bar. So you bar the first two strings. You keep the the ring finger and your pinky exactly as they were before. So the chord is. So I'll go I'll transition to that. Okay, so everything again. here I didn't put this finger here I did this first and then I put it in because it's not enough time to go from here to suddenly doing that so it's quicker to, to easier to do it like that So that's the um, motif for most of the song, certainly for the verses. And then after the first, or I think the first verse, there is this part where he goes. So this is um, very, very soft in the CD, so you can barely hear it, but this is, I believe this is right because I've seen um, uh, videos of Eric actually playing it this way. So what you do is you the rhythm now is slightly different from the original. The original was... This time you're going to start from the second string. Okay? You're going to keep the string... So the original motif was... This time you're going to move the pinky to the 7th fret of the 2nd string. So... That's what you hear. If you put the two notes there, okay? And what you're going to do is, you're going to have to watch my right hand. So I pluck that string first. And then I go to the first string. That's a bit complex, but if I play it in full, it's like this. string B might B and then you hit so everything's on the seventh fret okay second and third string are fretted the sixth string is fretted so you should hear that so you are going to do this again you're starting from the second string not the first string whole section and it repeats basically so 
So this part is used um, after the first verse, I think, but also at the end of the song where he's singing. She's between your time trying to sleep After sweetest of smells, it's a view I can tell And it's all that I have of you da -da -da -da. Okay, that, that's a guitar part there. So the last part of the song goes from For this part of the song, the bass note only shows on the first um, note, so and you have to wrap it over because you need to do the same motif as we did earlier, but then this time with the G. So it might be difficult, but I'm afraid that I don't think there's a sensible solution otherwise because um, Eric's guitar has a slightly narrower neck, he used 15 millimeters rather than 52 standard, so it's a little bit easier for him to wrap over. I think he's got big hands anyway. But anyway, it goes like this. Okay, again, the bass note is only in the first note of the bar, so... Then the next chord is, you lift this, it's an E minor, you lift that as well. So you lift your forefinger and your thumb and it becomes... Okay, so it becomes... note only in the first bar, note of the bar. And then it's B minor 11, which is like a B minor 7, B minor 7 is this chord. And you lift that part, so you leave this note unfretted, okay? So think of that, put it there. So again, B minor 7, and you lift that part, so it becomes So he does this and he lifts off basically. And then he goes to, it's an A13 again, so it's A and then pinky on the 4th fret of the 4th string. Um, these two fingers on the 2nd fret, fret of the 2nd and 3rd string, so it's, okay, so it's that chord but he only plays the G note and these three notes that ladder we talked about so okay so That's it. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.